Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, the 22nd. Um, today, this video is going to be kind of, um, it's going to be different. Um, I have a couple things to address. One of the top things I have to address is it seems that a couple of you have seen a video from Jerry Ann where she talks about a breakdown that I had not too recently. Um, and then uh, and then those people who've seen the video have come on here to tell me I should seek counseling. Well, yes and no. Yes, the fact that I know I need help. No, on the fact that I don't, I'm not going to see counseling. The main reason why is because I already know what the counselor is going to say to me because it's the same thing they've been saying to me for years. Um, my counselor, I'll be honest with you, and sometimes is lost in the translation, sits right here on my desk. I read it every morning. And every morning I read it, and I understand what I've done wrong. Here's my counselor. The only counselor I really need. It's a Bible. Okay? I am a, I am a human being with a lot of flaws. I break down. I have nervous fits. I have anxiety fits. No pill on the planet is going to help me with those. The reason why I know this is because I've tried. I've tried pills. And I don't mean trying to overdose or anything like that. I mean, I've tried. The only the only anti-anxiety medicine that I've ever tried, and it's not even really medicine, is C the CBD oils. The CBD gummies. Yeah, a lot of you might think, oh, that's wrong because it's a drug. Well, do you realize that the plant that basically all these CBD oils are derivative from, from marijuana is not an artificial item. It's a natural growing plant. Okay. So, and I've already found that in my 48 years, almost 49 years, the only thing that really affects me is anything that's natural. The artificial anti, anti anxiety, anti depression medicines that I've ever tried no, they only work for a very short period of time. I am a human being. I'm a man who knows his emotions and does have his breakdowns. As for the idea that I want to basically just up and leave my responsibilities, no. Because you know what my responsibilities are? It's my house. It's my wife. Not a job. Not a government. A family. I know what my responsibilities are. I have been a child of the military who who basically every three years moved someplace new. Even after my dad retired from the Air Force, we still lived in Phoenix, Arizona, but we moved to different sections of Phoenix. We moved to <clears throat> Southside Phoenix, we moved to Mesa, we moved to Paradise Valley. I... Get a three-year itch. My wife knows this. I know this. And when that three-year itch hits, I feel out of place. I feel I need to relocate or do something to change my environment. Now, I had a couple thoughts that I haven't talked to Jenny Ann about, and that was just rearranging stuff. Because when we were in New York, every so often we would rearrange our bedroom furniture. Maybe that's all I need. I just need to rearrange something. Um, otherwise, no, I'm not looking to escape my responsibilities or shirk my responsibilities or ignore my responsibilities or just up and leave my responsibilities. No, yeah, I would like to. I would like to move someplace different. I would like to move to Europe. Maybe even move to someplace here in the United States that I I feel more comfortable, like the mountains. <coughs> Um, but no, I'm not, I don't, 
I don't feel that I need some quack doctor who's going to just prescribe a bunch of freaking pills and tell me to stifle my emotions or stifle my anxiety. You know, no. I grew up all my life being told to stifle it, to bury it, to contain it inside me. And you know what happened? I went nuts. Something happened that finally made me snap. And I literally went nuts. Where I had to spend 90 days, not in one session, but 90 days within a year and a half in a psychiatric hospital where they discovered that if they kept on pumping me full of these antidepressants, that the toxicity level in my bloodstream could have killed me. So don't don't tell me I need counseling. I know what I need. I just need to change it. You know, I just need to make some changes. That's all. I mean, I just read a story about a, a fellow who whose anger was a little out of control and it damaged for some years his daughter. Not physically damaged, psychologically damaged. And that's basically what I am. I am psychologically damaged. But when she grew up and her father sent her a toy that he broke, basically, on her on his daughter's um, firstborn's birthday. And by and and it was one of those things where over time things heal. Um, where am I gonna? Uh, where am I coming from? Um, Ephesians four twenty. Uh, yeah, four twenty four. Um, the Bible urges us to avoid angry outbursts by putting on the new sh- self, creating the creator to be like God in the true righteousness and holiness. Well, that's what we're supposed to do. Unfortunately, some of us can't. Some of us have a hard time. I try to avoid anger. Yes, I do. It doesn't work all the time. Why? Because the same issues I had with when I was going through counseling, when I was going through counseling, is all the information the counselors can give you and all the information the Bible gives you is good and well and well well man well intended is the word I'll use. But when you have problems dealing with stress, you have problems dealing with the environment you're in, the pressures, stress, strains, all the negative stuff that comes with dealing with people or dealing with certain situations that you have no experience in, it gets the better of you. It really does. And I try my best. And there are days where it gets to me and I can't can't really express it at work. I can't go getting all flustered and yelling at people and uh, just going nuts in the work environment. So when I come home, I don't. I don't try to take it out on Diane. I just have my issues. And I I did not watch the video, Diane's video, because I just didn't have time. I haven't had time to. Um, There are times when I come home 
in a distressed frame of mind. Because, well, it was probably Monday that this happened. Monday was my first day back to work after, well, I only had one day off. But, excuse me. Um, I know that probably looked bad on camera, but, um, I don't edit nothing. You guys get to see it all happen as it happens, when it happens. I have no remorse for it. I have no desire to basically hide. You're seeing me as I truly am. If you don't like it, well, I'm sorry, but I'm real. I'm not one of these people that turn on a camera, do something, pause it just because something happened that, oh, the people don't want to see me blow my nose or, oh, the people don't want to see me cry. I don't care. I am an all-natural person. I have no real secrets. What real secrets I have is basically because, as the old saying says, what happens behind closed doors stays behind closed doors. That's because it's factor. That's a personal issue. But as I was saying, Monday, after dealing with the stress of my job, um, and just being frustrated because the factor people aren't doing what they normally do because the boss isn't around. I think that's a pile of crap. If you're going to do what you're going to do, whether the boss is there or not, well, then that's just you. If you're doing it just because the boss is not there, that's just because of the fact that you're lazy and the boss doesn't want you to be lazy when she's around. <clears throat> but anyhow, I had to deal with a, a very busy day, plus putting away a lot of extra stuff that they either didn't get to or didn't want to do, whatever the whatever the reasons were. But I was stressed, and I, I was just, I was like, tired of it. Tired of the BS, tired of the games, tired of just the laziness. And, yeah, I broke down. And I didn't want to talk to Jerry about it, because I, I didn't want to dump my problems on her at the time. But she did what she normally does. She was being a concerned, caring wife who wanted to help solve the problem. And the problem isn't solvable here at the house. And I broke down. And I guess things were lost in the translation between what I said to her the que for the answers for the questions that she was asking, which was a lot of I don't know. Because at the time, I didn't know. At the time, I was too stressed out or too... I'm sorry, this puff of hair is bugging the crap out of me. Um, I was just too stressed to really answer questions, um, let alone process my own thoughts. So, things were lost in translation, and obviously, from the comments I've read from those of you who've seen the video... Um, you also lost translation, so this is why I'm doing this video. The simple factor that, yeah, I'm, I'm 48, um, I'm, my father never got to retire. He passed away, basically, while he was still working. He didn't pass away at his job, he was working, and we had to take some time off to, go to one funeral, and before he was basically capable of going back to work, he basically, on the way on the way back from the funeral in Missouri, we were living in Arizona at the time, he developed blood clots in his legs from his diabetes that were, basically, it went from his leg, I guess they tried to amputate the leg before it went too far, and, um, it got into his lungs, and it caused him to basically die, you know, I don't want that, I don't want to be 
working my tail end off and then basically dying before I can have any retirement and enjoyment. So I get nervous. Then then I look at my mom. She's in her late sixties, early seventies. I'm trying to think when I when yeah. I don't know her exact age. I know she's late 60s, early 70s. She had me at a young age. She was in her 20s, I think, when she had me. Um, she's not really enjoying her her retirement. She's a homebody. She's not... Adventuresome. She's. I hate to. I hate to to compare her to. A certain group of people, a certain nationality. Um, so forgive me, for those of you who are from the UK, but I compare her to. British humor. Not very witty, kind of funny, dull. <laughs> um. So I, I apologize for using British humor as a comparison to my mom because she is a homebody, basically. She doesn't want to get out that much. Um, not that she could afford to, and that's one of my other fears is being able to afford a retirement that I would prefer to have. I mean, yeah, I'd like to go to places to see, um, places that I haven't been that I would like to see, um, Ireland, Scotland, um, Norway. I'd love to go back to Germany for a little while. I don't see that happening. I really, I, you know, it, I would be happy right now if I could retire with a decent amount of benefits to be able to be able to afford a RV, and I'm not talking about one of these big gigantic luxurious luxurious one. I'm talking about like one of those um, I don't know what class they're called, but they look like a box truck that's been converted into an RV type unit, small, big enough to basically just go from one location to another and and visit people and see things and Jay Ann and I have talked about you know, getting one of those RVs and um, going to see people or places that we haven't seen and do Dollar Tree hey we're in Minnesota at such and such a location Dollar Tree you know type thing we have our dreams and schemes and I know I have to rough it through these times to make ends meet and hopefully aim for the goal. So I'm not looking to run away from my job or my responsibilities because, like I said, my responsibilities is my wife. Um, I'll be honest with you. I watched a lot of these RV or these people who literally... They live in the RV. That's their home. They don't have a a, um, a landlocked location. And to be honest with you, a lot of these people 
they do these videos because one, it helps them make money, and two, it's to let people live vicariously through them. So I'm like, if, see, my problem is, or not my problem, but the situation is this. Jenny Ann is not ready for um, what she calls a um, gypsy lifestyle, which I'm not really, I, I, I want the gypsy lifestyle, but I also want to be able to have a location like this house um to come to when I'm when it's basically winter time or when basically we decide that we need to go to our 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 permanent home because a lot of these people who don't have permanent homes I if they get any kind of actual mail or 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 anything like that they have to have some kind of location to go to to pick it up. So once in a blue moon, they have to go to a home base territory or a home state territory to go to a P.O. box to pick up their mail. Because you can't just sit there and go, yeah, I'm, I'm going to set my geolocation on my phone and the mailman can just come to me. It don't work that way. <laughs> Not yet, anyhow. Um, so... As for counseling, I have my counseling. Alright? I, I mean, I might not have a psychiatrist that I pay hundreds of dollars to a month just to go visit whenever I choose. Um, I can't afford that. I can't afford counseling. I don't think my insurance allows counseling or has any kind of, like, copay for counseling. So... Quit telling me to go counseling because I don't have the money. I don't have the money. I don't have the properly the, the will. I'm just going to put it that way. Besides not having the money for it, I don't have the will to go to a person. Okay. I might not solve my problems the way everybody thinks I should. I might not use some sort of textbook, psychological, whatever to deal with my problems. And I don't use pills or alcohol or anything like that. Uh, no, I'm not that kind of person. Um, I know right from wrong. I was born and raised in a very... <sighs> I was in basically... My, my, my upbringing was I it would I, I call it a proper upbringing because of the fact that it was bible based it was love based yes it had its discipline and whatnot which every family should have some form of discipline and I think that's part of the problem with a lot of kids nowadays is there's not enough discipline in their lives you know I I'm not going to say the military is the best way to raise your kids no it's not it's a hard way because of the fact that you're either relocating every three years or your locate you and mom might be located in one location while dad is overseas someplace that you can't go to. Um military families are not exactly light, easy families, but they they're a tight knit unit and they take care of their own. Um and I know this from experience because when me and mom were still, when, when my dad was stationed in Germany, mom and I had to be in Germany for a month or so by ourselves, uh, cause dad came back to the States for family affairs and our neighbors looked out for us. Um, in fact, one of our, our one of our, our neighbors, uh, I think her, if I remember right, her name was Carrie. I don't remember what her husband's name was, but she had a three-year-old boy, and when mom went to do her job um, with base housing, billeting, she watched over me with her, her three-year-old. So, um, yeah, I might not be the, the brightest bulb, brightest tool, whatever, however you want to put it, but I'm no dummy, and I know what I need. But the thing is, practical, practically, practicality, 
I can't afford it. And that's why I soldier on and I have my breakdowns. And sometimes Jerry posts stuff about it. And that's fine and dandy. I, I, I don't tell her what she can and cannot do. Just like she doesn't really tell me what I cannot can and cannot do when it comes to these videos. But don't take bits and pieces that you hear from the video and come onto my channel and tell me I need counseling. That that's just you're losing you're losing stuff in the translation. You're taking your own personal opinions and attaching it to people's videos. There are certain things that I, I that's fine. That's your personal opinion, but don't jump on here telling me what I should be doing. I mean, counseling. I've seen too many counselors to know to 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 worry about what they're going to say anymore because I know what they're going to say. And either they're going to say something that I already know or they're going to try to prescribe me a, a medication that may or may not work for 3 4 weeks before my body goes, "Hey, <laughs> yeah, right." So, I avoid I avoid the medication because of the fact that I don't need I've got enough natural toxins and whatnot that I'm trying to get rid of. I don't need some artificial toxin in my system screwing me up even more. I mean, I've got enough problems. I don't need any added problems because of some pill. But, you know, I appreciate your concern and whatnot. It's just sometimes it's misplaced. And, I mean, I take, I take your suggestions, I take your words with a certain amount of, I understand what you're saying, but it's also, you don't understand what I'm saying, or you're, you're taking it in a direction that I'm not even trying to go in, so... I appreciate your concern. This is a well-used handkerchief. <sighs> to try to end this on a surreal yet positive note. <sighs> Yesterday was a good day. Work was slow, so I was able to keep up with what I have to do at my job. Um... I found out, well, I found this out Monday, but didn't realize how it affected uh, my store. found out Monday that most of the stores in the area, including Walmart and our local grocery, some of our local grocers, grocery stores, close at 8 p.m. And I'm like, well, that explains why after 8 p.m. we get kind of busy. Um. <laughs> Yesterday, I had two people come in around 9.50, 9.55, which is about 10, 5 to 10 minutes before I close. <clears throat> At first, I thought I was going to have to tell one gentleman that I'm closing because he was still searching the store for whatever it was he wanted. Of course, he just walked out with uh, a gallon of milk and some cookies. So... But otherwise, it was fairly slow. I mean, we didn't do the Monday night. I don't know why Monday night seems to be so crazy. I don't know if it's just because of the fact that it's delivery day and people are doing their shopping. But 
Today it's supposed to start raining here around one fifteen or so, and it last pretty much until Friday. Um, that really doesn't deter, deter uh, people from coming in the store. In fact, sometimes on rainy days it seems busier than normal. But for the most part, the store has been... It has its... One day it will be crazy, one day it will be quiet, the next day it will be crazy. You know, it, it it's like opposite day. What was it yesterday? Oh, it was crazy. Okay, so today's going to be calm. What was it today? Oh, it's going to be calm. It was calm yesterday, but it's going to be crazy today. It's it's a weird pattern. But it keeps me on my toes. Um, the days where it's not so crazy is good because, in fact, I can get a lot of the cleaning done that wasn't done during the daytime. Um, my co-worker and I basically had to leave what we wrote notes and we kind of hid the notes so they wouldn't get lost before the boss came back back to work but um she called yesterday because one of our stores in our area uh needed um some uh, pizza dough flour so when i was talking to her on the phone i was i was she called to ask about pizza dough and i said we've got X number, and she's like, all right, I'm going to have somebody come out and get them, and I'm like, all right, no problem, and then she called back to let me know that the person was coming to get them, and I was like, aren't you supposed to be on vacation or something like that, what's going on, she goes, yeah, I know, but, and then I was joking with her, because I was like, yeah, I was going to tell you about some of the stuff that happened Monday, and she's like, oh, don't worry about it, Karen, which is one of our day workers, um, basically called her and talked to her basically talked her ear off for an hour about stuff that's not happening during the daytime because of one thing or another. And I just kind of went, oh, okay, well, then I'm not just, I'm not going to put in my two cents. I, you've already heard everything then. So, I mean, my supervisor and I can can get on each other's nerves, but we can also joke around and know that we're not being serious. We're just clowning around and getting basically getting along. Um... There are times, and I, I think the times that we don't get along is because of the fact that something happened during the daytime. Something happened when she walked in the store that she was not happy about, and just the whole day went to pot. And I kind of go, okay. Um, and she'll say things to me, and I'll just be like, well, either A, I did it, or B, I we were busy, and it doesn't look like I did it, or C, which happens a lot, I've noticed lately, um... It happened the night before when I was off. So it's just kind of like, okay. <coughs> but for all in all seriousness, I mean, the job is, it gets on my nerves from time to time, especially right now because I feel like the cat's away, the mice are going to play, and I'm like, I'm not a mouse. I'm a dog, and I work my butt off. Um, But that's, that's just the way I, I see it. Um, everybody sees things differently, but things are, things are going good. I have my off days. I have my good days. I have my bad days. We all do. It's just how we process them or how we deal with them. No two people are alike when it comes to dealing with the bad days. Some people just kind of, eh, and go about it. Other people break down and have meltdowns. I have my meltdowns when I feel the pressure is just too overwhelming. Or just... I, For whatever reason, I just can't... I cannot get myself to deal with it. Now... Alright. Uh, sheesh. 35 minutes. All right, I have to I have to end this because I've got to, I'm cooking today, so I've got to get out there and start working on food. So, if y'all enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put them in the comment box. I will try to get to them and answer them or address them in one way or another as soon as I can. Um, if you're new to this channel, and want to hear more? Go ahead and give that bell a tap. Um, it will let you know when I put in my next video. 
And until next time, have a good day. God bless. Be safe.